Okay, well this is kind of an interesting video. So we're here today to talk about the brand new update coming to FNAF AR, hopefully very soon. Originally, Illumix said that the update would release last month in September, but of course it did not, and it seems like now it's being released in October. Which means if the next update, which they said would also release in October, if that is still sticking by that release date, that means that we have two big, I say big, I don't really mean it, and you're gonna find out why <laughs> later on in the video, then that means we have two possibly big updates coming to the game this month, as well as the four new characters, so hopefully this month should be amazing for FNAF AR. So of course, jumping right into it, you should subscribe to the channel. I'm, I do so many updates on FNAF. I do so many updates, and like 70, 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. What's up with that? But actually jumping into it now, let's talk about what this new gameplay update is going to be about because the teaser image is pretty mysterious. So not too long ago, FNAF AR and Illumix tweeted out, up, up, and away, a little balloon emoji, what's coming, new ways to play. A little rhyming going on there, and then they have hashtag FNAF, FNAF AR, special delivery, Illumix, up, up, and away, playtime, and what's coming. So nothing really too exciting there. Something that is exciting, however, is the image that they provided with the post, and it looks like a map, you know, the one that you see when you're on the map icon, um, you know, the map area, and it has a bunch of question marks around the map, and then also has balloons. If you can't tell by my stumble of words, I don't really know what this is talking about. I have two main guesses, and I think my guesses are pretty solid for what it's actually going to be. If you've ever played Pokemon Go, and I know Illumix said when they were making FNAF AR, they want to do something different from Pokemon Go, but if, if this is the idea that I have in my head, then they are very clearly ripping it off of Pokemon Go. So if you've never played it, basically what you do is you walk around your town and you, you go searching for Pokemon. And in significant points um, at your residence, you know, the town you live in, there's, there's stops that you can stop at and you can spin a little thing and you get items from it. A terrible explanation, but they're called Pokestops, right? And the main thing is you get items from them, like I just said. Now it seems like um, these locations are very frequent, um, and it also appears to be in a very busy area. You can see a lot of houses on the map, so I'm guessing these could be some sort of Pokemon stop feature, where you walk around your, um, your neighborhood, you know, your local town, and you go searching for these locations. Usually they're like, uh, monuments or significant landmarks, stuff like that, and you do something to get items from them, and something that is interesting about um, this, if this is a Pokemon stop-like feature, then that means you're gonna have to start walking around. Again, just like Pokemon Go, where you have to walk around and you've got, you gotta find these locations, I wonder how they're going to implement that into the game, because now all of a sudden you gotta keep track of where you're walking, how far you've walked, why are you walking in the first place? If you're walking just to get items, then that's kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, I get why some people would want to do that, but in Pokemon Go, you walk to different locations to find different Pokemon. And in my personal opinion, FNAF AR has very few characters, and I don't think it would work um, with them spawning around the world, you know? Like in Pokemon Go, only certain Pokemon spawn in certain countries. Or continents, I think. You know, you have one Pokemon that can only spawn in North America, you have one that can only spawn in Asia, and you can have one that only spawns in Australia, and all the other continents. I think FNAF AR's roster is way too small for that though, so I don't think that's going to be the case, but again, if these are, like Pokestops, why would we need to walk to them? There's no real purpose besides just getting more items. So that's one of my guesses. Uh, my second guess is it has to do with the balloons. Now this is another interesting thing, the fact that they are bringing a lot of attention to these balloons. You know, they specifically called them out saying up, up, and away. So clearly, this update is centered around balloons and where they go. And a big thing right now in FNAF AR is sending your characters to your friend, and your friend fights your characters, and sometimes they get the suit, sometimes they just get like parts and stuff. So maybe this is a way to send items, not just characters, but actual items, right? Transponders, batteries, um, maybe like remnants. Uh, maybe you can even directly give people CPUs and suits, I don't know. It, it, this is very difficult, um, because it's just so mysterious, right? The, the balloons are weird, the location markers are nothing, literally, we don't know what they are, they're just question marks. Maybe they're friends, 
uh, that you can see on the map, kind of like Snapchat maybe, but I feel like that would lead to some privacy issues. Then again, the game already does track your location, so... <laughs> I don't know, I guess... Again, I, I don't really know. Those are my two main guesses. For some reason, people are speculating that it could be a Balloon Boy skin or a Nightmare BB character. Uh, that's not the case. This is very clearly directed towards a new gameplay feature, not a specific character. Um, we're not even getting a character till next week, so this is pretty early to announce one. And it even says new ways to play, so yes, this is the gameplay update. What it is, I still don't know. To be honest, my hopes aren't that high. And I, when, when they announced the two new updates, I was always very... N not as excited as a, a few other people were, just because I know what Illumix is like when it comes to brand new gameplay updates, right? They call the challenges brand new gameplay updates, and it's like, that is just... Like, does anyone even do challenges today? I don't think they do. So if this is some sort of Pokestop, the rewards better be great, right? The the challenges, the ad system, um, they're all completely busted. You get, like, barely any Faz tokens, so hopefully, if this is some sort of Pokemon Pokestop feature, then the 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 item's gotta be good, you know? Because you're walking, you're actually putting in effort to go and do something. Also, if this is a Pokestop, very odd, Illumix, to have people walking outside in the middle of a pandemic, and if this is Pokestops, y'all better be wearing your mask when you go outside. So that's really it. Um, guesses for the next gameplay update? I really hope it's something big and not... I don't know, whatever the hell this is gonna be. I was thinking back to when I was really excited for FNAF AR, and that was, no joke, during the tutorial. So if they can get an actual, like, story mode in the game, I think that would be honestly really, really cool, like a campaign mode. You know, get Andy Field back in the studio to do some voice lines for Hand Unit. I think that would be real nice, you know, just something to work towards, you know, an end goal in the game. Because right now, I just... <sighs> I don't want to play FNAF AR, it's not, like, I don't have fun anymore playing it. That's mainly the reason why I haven't done a video on Clown Springtrap. But I guess I gotta get to that soon, so, whatever. Uh, I talked about my guesses for the new characters in a separate video, but I feel like it's either going to be the Nightmares, I think they are a high possibility, or the Withers, I think they are also a high possibility. They might finish off with the Funtime characters, because we know Funtime Freddy is coming, um, and also... They just added Bloor, so you know it fits with the fun time set. I think Dreadbear and Grim Foxy are a possibility. I feel like they are less likely than the other characters I just men mentioned, but I feel like, again, maybe they could come. But as of right now, we're just gonna have to wait and find out more info when the time comes. Again, this was supposed to release last month, so I'm guessing they needed more time for this, and it'll come out this month instead. If that pushes back the second big update that was supposed to be out this month, I don't know. Um, maybe? I think there's a chance that the second update will come out very late October now, if it's still coming out this month. But for right now, we just have to wait and see, um, what's gonna happen. Because we don't have a release date for this, we just know it's most likely coming out this month. So yeah, uh, that's really it. Nothing else to talk about, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.